is going on guys, welcome back to another video, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this cool Christmas text animation using Filmora 13. This is so simple to create, so let's jump into Filmora and get started. Okay guys you can see I already added a few images here. So you can download this Christmas element pack. I put the link in the description, you can check that out. So guys first we need to add a text layer to create our animation. So I added the default title to the timeline. Then I customized my text layer like this. Okay after customizing your text layer, we need to create a reflection texture to add our text layer. So let's see how to create that. So first I hide my text layer, then go to the Christmas assets pack, and I use this image to create our reflection texture. Okay, after adding our image, go to the scale and change the scale to something like 50. Then drag it right here. Then take another copy of this layer. And drag it to the other side. And also I flip this layer like this. Okay, then we need to add some blur effect. To reduce this sharp look a little bit in these images, so go to the effects tab, and search square blur. Then add it to the timeline like this. Ok then go to the effects settings, and I change the blur size to 1. Like this. After that select these blur and image layers, then right click on it, and change these to a compound clip. So I called this reflection, and hit ok. So after that select the reflection layer, then go to the scale. And I change the scale to something like 200. Then we need to add movement to this reflection. So I drag this image here like this. Then go to the start, and create a keyframe on position. Then go to the end, and change this to something 40. Ok now it looks like this. So then we need to change this to nice black and white contrast look. So first we need to reduce the color on this layer. So go to the color, and select saturation, and change the saturation to minus 70. Then scroll down and change the contrast to 100. Highlight to 100, shadow to 100, white to 100, and also black to 100. Ok after that we need to blend our reflection texture with our text layer. First I unhide my text layer, then select the reflection layer, and change the layer blend mode to darken. Also you can adjust the opacity if you want, so I here I keep the default settings. Then I select these layers, and create a compound clip, called animation. Then I drag this layer here, and hide that layer for now. So then we need to create our background, so go to the stock media, and I select this color to create my background. Then I add this black color, and I blend that black color with my background color. Like this. Ok then let's add some particle effect to this. So go to the effects tab, select overlay, and you can select any of these Christmas style overlays for your background. So here I select this one, and add it to the timeline like this. Then go to the effects settings, and I change the opacity to something 30. Ok after that select these layers, and create a compound clip, and I called it background, and hit ok. Then I unhide my animation layer, and I drag it to second layer like this. So now we need to remove this black area, so go to the AI tool, and enable the chroma key. Then pick this eyedropper tool, and select our background color. Then change the offset value to 100, and tolerance value to 100, then change edge thickness to 0, and edge feather to something like 1.5. Ok then let's add some drop shadow. First change the angle to 180, distance to 4, blur to 5, and opacity to 60. Then let's add some embossed look to our text layer, so go to the effects tab, and search emboss. Then add this effect to our text layer. Then go to the effects settings, and change the percentage to 36, 
and opacity to 80, like this. Then I add again this emboss effect, and this time I change the percentage to 14, and the opacity to 30. Okay, now we have nice silver color text like this. So if you want to change this text color to gold color, you need to go to the color tab, select curves, then simply you can copy my color graph. Okay, now we have nice gold color text like this. So now let's add some glow effect to this. So go to the effects tab, select Boris FX, select plus light, then select BCC plus glow effect, and add it to this layer. Then go to the effects settings, select glow, and I change the brightness to 150. Then you can change the glow color you like. So here I use this nice yellow color, then go to the color correct section, and change the gamma value to something minus 65. You can see it gives a nice metallic look to our text layer. Then go to the alpha section, and change glow from alpha value to 15.3. Like this. Also change the GPU rendering to 16-bit. Okay guys, now our text part is complete. So let's animate our text layer. So first I like to add zoom out animation to this. So go to the start, and change the scale to something like 400. Then create a keyframe. And go a few seconds forward. And change it back to 100. Then open the keyframe panel, select these last keyframes. Then add this curve preset to this. Like this one. So now our zoom out animation looks like this. So then let's add some fade in animation. So go to the start, create a keyframe on opacity, and change the opacity to 0. Then go a few seconds forward, and change it back to 100. Then go to the keyframe panel, select the last keyframe, then add this curve preset to this. Okay it looks perfect. So then let's add some zoom blur look to our animation. So go to the effects tab, select new blue FX, then select this zoom blur effect, and add it to this layer. So you can see it gives a nice zoom blur look like this. So go to the effects settings, and I use this zoom setting to create our zoom blur animation. So first I change this blend value to 100. So here I change the zoom value to something 50. Then go to the start, and create a keyframe on this. Then go a few seconds forward and change this to zero. Okay, now it looks like this. Okay, now our main part is completed. So let's add other elements to complete our animation. So I add a few images to the timeline like this. Then I change both images to compound clips. Okay then I double click this compound clip. Then I change this image scale to something 50, and place it right here. Then I add another copy, and drag it here, and also I flip that image. Okay so this is the bottom layer, so I do the same thing for the top layer like this. Okay, after that go to the main timeline. And I change both layer scales and positions like this. Okay, after that let's animate these layers. So first go to the start, and create a keyframe. Then I drag this layer like this. Then go to the end, and I change the X position to something 180. So then I add same type of animation to my other layer like this.
Okay, then we need to create this slide in animation. So I select here on timeline, and create a keyframe on position in both layers like this. Then go a few seconds backward. And I move this layer up. And this layer down. Also go to the start and I do the same thing like this. Okay, now it looks like this. Then open the keyframe panel, select these last keyframes, then add this curve preset to this, so I do the same thing for my other layer. Okay, finally I like to add a drop shadow to this, so go to the drop shadow, and I change the distance to 5, and blur to 10. So then I add the drop shadow to my other layer. Okay guys our Christmas text animation is done, here's the result. So guys that's how to make a cool Christmas text animation inside of Filmora 13. So you can see it's so easy to create. Also if you need to change this text, simply go into your animation clip right here. Then you can change the text you like. For example I add this image to the timeline like this. Then go to the main timeline. And you can see it automatically replaced with the animation we created. So you can change it easily. And also if you need to learn more Filmora tutorials, you can check my Filmora tutorial playlist. I have done so many tutorials about Filmora, you can check that after this video. So guys thanks for watching this tutorial, I hope you enjoy this. Also please leave a like this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment about this video, and what tutorial you like next, so let's meet up the next video. Take care and peace.